Hi, this is Ryan from RapidWeaverClassroom.com, and I'd like to introduce you to the Stax2 plugin from your head. Stax2 is the second version of the immensely popular Stax plugin for RapidWeaver. Stax2 provides tremendous flexibility in the type of content you can add to your pages and the way that you lay that content out on the page itself. In this tutorial, I want to take you through Stax2 to familiarize yourself with the new features. And if you're a previous Stax user, you'll immediately notice the redesigned interface. It's much cleaner, much slicker, and much easier to use. And so we're going to get started by visiting the Stack Elements library. So I'm going to click on the upper left icon, and that brings up the Stack Elements library. And this contains the different types of content that you can place into your page. And so to begin, you can simply drag and drop a stack, such as the text stack, directly onto the page. And here we can select that stack. That enables the edit and the delete button. If I want to edit that stack, I would click edit, and then I can begin to change the text content located inside of that stack. I can also visit the new editing window to the right, where I can format um, additional parts of that content. You'll also notice standard formatting tools in the bar above and to the right. When I'm done editing this stack, I can simply click on the Done button. And if I no longer want that stack, I can simply click on Delete. Let's take a look at Images. I'm going to select the Image stack, drag and drop that into the page. And then I'm able to drop an image into the drop zone located here. So I'm going to come down to my dock, grab an image, drag it and drop it into that drop zone. And here is that image. Now if I want to edit this further, I can click inside, click on the Edit button, that brings up the editing view, and here you can see that there's a tremendous amount of options that allow me to style this image. I can scale it, I can apply a background, I can apply a border, I can even rotate it. And so there's a lot of flexibility here as well. When I'm done, I'll simply click on the Done button. Stacks 2 comes with a number of built-in stacks in the Stack Elements library. Those include text, image, HTML, a number of different column stacks and even a grid that's very flexible in the layout. We also have some content stacks such as a floating um, text element, left floating image, right floating image, and then some different stylized stacks. We have a quote, a button, and then a header. If you're already a Stacks user and you've purchased third-party stacks, then you will find a list of those below filtered by developer. You can also sort the view of the Stack Elements library by clicking on the buttons located here for different types of views. You can also search the Stack Elements library by keyword using the search filter. Now that I've done a search for columns, let's take a look at how easy it is to build column content using stacks. I'm going to grab a three column stack, drag it here, and I want this image to be in the center. So I'm simply going to drag that stack into the center. And then maybe I want a couple of text stacks to the left and to the right. I'm going to go into my Stack Elements library, clear out the search, and then I can grab my text stack, drag it to the left. Now I can again drag another text stack to the right, or I can select the text stack, hold down my Option key, and then drag. That will duplicate that stack. Let's go ahead and preview the page to see what we've done so far with our three columns. And you can see here, because I've put this large image into the three columns, it is uh, cropped. And so what I can do there is I can go back into the image, click on Edit, and then simply scale it down further to allow it to fit in that space. Let's preview again. And you will now see that we can fit that just fine into that center column. Just a moment ago, you saw me duplicate this text stack by holding down my Option key while I drag to this other drop zone. We can also copy entire stacks or series of stacks. And so I'm going to select this outer stack that contains all three columns of content. And I'm going to do a Command C to copy that. I'm going to click down below, do a Command V to paste. And you can see that that immediately duplicates the content of this stack. So if I like this layout and I want to simply change out this image and the text to the left and to the right, it's quick to copy and paste. Now that I've duplicated this three column stack, all I need to do is click into this image, clear, and then I have a drop zone available for another image. So I can go down, grab another image, drop it into that location, and it's as simple as that. As you build your page in Stacks, you have the Stack Info pane to the right, where you have all kinds of controls that allow you to add styling and different options to any stack that you select. So for example, I could choose this stack and apply a border by choosing a color, and then a border width. 
Stacks 2 includes a new feature called Stack Templates. The Stack Templates library can be found in the center icon here. This is templated content that is automatically generated for you, and so we could scroll down into these body templates and grab a three column templated stack. You can see that these include headlines and text. And this is already pre-built for you. You just have to drag the template onto the page and begin editing from there. A variety of different template stacks are located here inside of the Stack Templates library. You can find those categorized by footers, body, headers, and content. So for example, we can look at the Read More paragraph. This includes a headline, text, and then a Read More link to take you to another page to read the full content of this preview. Stack templates offer a variety of different layouts that are common for web design. It makes it very simple to quickly lay out content on your page without having to build it yourself and style it on your own. The final icon to the right is the Stack Media Library. Now the Stack Media Library contains media, such as images, that are placed into the Stacks plugin, as well as any media that is placed into third-party stacks that you may have installed for Stacks 2. In this example, I have the Vimeo wall stack, which includes one uh, media, which is a bullets a PNG image file. For example, of use of stack media, let's look at the background property for this stack. I'm going to come over to the right, choose a tiled image background, and then I'm going to come into the stack media library, scroll down. I'm going to grab this green pattern, simply drag it and drop it into the drop zone located here. And then that places that tiled background directly into this stack using the Stack Media Library. Finally, another great new feature of Stacks 2 is its view options. Let's drag a couple of other stacks here onto the page. I'm going to come down and choose the Quote stack and a Float stack. And let's grab one more. Let's grab the Button stack. Now, as you can see, I've begun to add quite a few stacks to the page, and it may be a bit difficult to see what the different stacks are. And that's where the views come into play. We have three different views available with the slider here at the top. At the moment, you can see that I simply have a dotted line that surrounds each individual stack as I select it. With the different views available here, we can change the way that looks. And so if I slide it to the left, this gives me a much more basic view where clicking on a stack will highlight that specific content. Now that doesn't tell us a lot about what kind of stack we're using, and that's what the far right view is for. So if I slide all the way to the right here, you will see that each stack gives me the name of the stack. And so we can see that we have a button stack here, a header stack, a text stack, a quote stack. And as I highlight these, you can see that the title of the stack um, appears in blue. So it's easy to identify which stack we've selected. So this view makes it very easy to um, see which stacks are being used on the page at a glance. Stacks 2 is an incredible plugin, and I hope this overview tutorial has helped you understand what it has to offer. Rapweaver Classroom does have an entire series on Stacks 2, multiple videos totaling over an hour of runtime covering all kinds of details for Stacks 2. So check out our curriculum at rapweaverclassroom.com for more information, and thank you for watching.